Hello, good morning everyone. Now I'm here in Sagada and I walk up to the Sagada Pathery section. Today I'm gonna show you what's inside the Sagada Pathery. So this is the facade. Maybe I can lift the camera to for you to see the view inside later on. Here. So let's get inside the production area where uh, pads are made here in Sagada. Go inside. So, this is the step all the way to the pathway area. I think these are the sacks of clay we used to. And these are the molds. Let us try to touch it. Wow. Here is the second level pathway area. I went to the unpouring. Yeah. Oh, right. here. Well, I'd like to try to be molding one pad. I'd like to be a potter. Here are the soft clays. Wow. Let me touch it one. Ti pamay an mi ditoy. Ipailamino kas ano nan ikanemon gaog. Ngumuada nan demo fina ay 200 pesos for your whole group. Okay? Started in year 2000 by Archie Stapleton. He is a son of an American missionary who then were here in the 1960s. So practically he also was a Sagada Ipod himself. He was speaking our language very fluently and he was doing whatever Sagada was doing. So he saw the potential of our raw materials when it comes to pottery. That's why he put this up for Sagada community for alternative livelihood. So it means to say our clay comes around Sagada. Of course, it doesn't mean like getting in there or getting in here and then mold it in here instantly. We have to undergo the process wherein we have to take a portion of it from the mountains and then we have to test it by cooking it to a temperature of 2300 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if it comes out to be good, then we have to haul them by bulk. So, from howling, we needed them soaked because after that, we needed them seed. We have to seed them four times until we reach the consistency of fineness. Isuta na very very fine isuna. Now after that it becomes so very watery so we have to drip dry them for some time. And then we also have to have the other minerals that we buy from Manila, yung kaolin, china stone, at saka silica to mix with our natural clay. Although only 20% from those and 80% from our natural clay. Having them all mixed together we have to mix it really thoroughly so that won't just be a day or two. Having them all mixed together, then we age it. A minimum of three weeks, it becomes like this, ready for molding. This thing that we do, centering. So to do that, it is with the speed of the wheel and with the pressure from my hands. So this is centering. So once it is centered, the very basic shape that I would have to do is a cylinder. So to do the cylinder, I would have to have a hole at the very center. And then I would have to pull the clay up with the speed of the wheel and with the pressure from my hands. So it has to be the pressure from both hands and then try to pull the clay up with the speed of the wheel. <coughs> so then this is our cylinder. Now out of the cylinder 
we are going to shape it to another shape. So in shaping, the pressure comes from my inside hand and I'm going to push the clay outward with the support from my outside hand. There. Now here at the middle, I would have to push it in and I would have to go up. And then come at the very, very top, I would have to push it outward and the valve is made. it sideward slowly there now release your hands wet your hands again now next to that we're going to do a cylinder so to do the cylinder I would have to assist you just relax and I will be the one to put pressure okay for first handlers we ask them to do a bowl mm -hmm. but first of course this is your cylinder good job out of the cylinder you feel it first out of that cylinder she is going to shape it into a bowl so to do that the pressure would come from your inside hand right so it's going to be push pushing the clay outward there this one has no job except to protect it like this there one more time And so I'm gonna show you the patterns. Just in case nagutum po kayo dito sa pottery area ng Sagada, I have meron po silang homemade yogurt. I have meron silang homemade wheat bread, bread, chocolate cheese, and some more yogurt. Yeah. So here's the homemade wheat bread and homemade yogurt. 